Okay. Good. All right, this is uh, related to the buffalo, about what we were trying to do when we made that buffalo pedestal. And we used the moose cap, but the big one wasn't ready. Had it been, it would have been similar to this situation. We wouldn't have had to pour the foam, you know. So we just make a slot in it. We like to, the reason we like to do this, instead of just buying a pedestal, just for me and Matt, we find it simpler to set this up for our pedestal because we're able to bolt on one in a one in an inch, whatever it's an inch in a quarter or whatever size we need for however big it is. We just bolt it right to the back of the wood, nice and solid, and then we, you know, make our receiver, and boom, it's done. And then if you don't like the way the nose is here, if you want to. You know, you can always adjust it to taste with your welded, you know. And then, like I said, all they did is cut this slot in. Boom. And that's basically what we did with our, our with the buffalo. Like next year, there'll be a big enough moose cap. And the reason we use the moose on the buffalo is the tricep. It all lines up. You know, it doesn't really matter what kind of animal part you use as long as all the muscles line up. And usually if they have hooks, they're all pretty similar. And all we'll do to this one is we'll smear some bondo on and run some huge screws in through and bam, we're done. You know? And then this one we're gonna use the the back height on here. But then we already have a bicycle seat made from another project we didn't use. But then we'd make that ahead too, because it's always better. Anyway, and then even, well, I don't know if I can get it off or antlers on, but even I, my puny side, can lift it. Allegedly. Well, maybe, not. <laughs> maybe this one. We got tension on it now with the antlers. But as you can see, it just comes, boom. And I lied to them not calling us to lift it all the way out. Anyway, that's basically how we did the buffalo. And when we delivered that, it just lifted right out perfect. We built a rock around it, which we may film on this one again. And uh, now we're going to move this to here so we can mount it because it won't clear my puny shop's uh, ceiling. I got nine foot ceilings and this is like 11 feet, you know. So anyway, that's it for Matt and Chuck today. Tune in next time and see what kind of mess Matt got me into this place. <laughs>